Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have my September favorites for you. Now the last favorites video that I did was my August and the reason why I say my last is because usually every single week, I know you guys expect a Friday Whoop Whoops. I have seen quite a few comments saying, hey, are you stopping the Friday Whoop Whoops? Like I love that video. I am not stopping that video. It's just that I wanted to do other types of videos that I wanted to put on my, on my channel. And if I haven't really been trying new products out or nothing has really just popped out at me to make that full video, Video, then I'm not gonna force it and I just don't want to throw products together like oh I like that sure let's just put that eh, I don't care so whenever I do my Friday whoop whoops it's just when I truly have been trying out different products and I really love them but this month I have tried out quite a few things and I have a lot of products that stood out so I am ready to do a September favorites but Friday whoop whoops will not be gone also for this video I feel pretty bad because a lot of it is I think it's almost all high-end but but I will be showing you my current top drugstore product, so look out for that next week. Okay, so now let's get into my September favorites. Oh no, I'm looking. I do have a couple drugstore products, so. So now let's start off with foundations. Now this was the month where I tried more full coverage foundations than usual. I'm not one where I like to go like full blown, I can't see my skin, but for some reason I was all about that this month. The two full coverage foundations that I loved and I'm sure you already know is the Marc Jacobs. This one is in the shade Honey Medium. I am like around an NC42 right now, so if that kind of helps you. I absolutely love this foundation. I have a full review, so I don't want to get all into it, but it is an awesome one. A little goes a long way and the other one I love was my Urban Decay All Nighter. I didn't do a full video on this. This is in shade 7.5. Uh, this does oxidize and this is a little bit too tan for me right now because I haven't been self tanning this week but I absolutely love it. Both of them a little goes a long way. I noticed some people are like oh I like Marc Jacobs more. Oh I like the Urban Decay more. For me I actually like both. I just have to be really light handed with it and I like to use a beauty blender with both of these because if I use a brush it's just cake, 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 cake for me but I always say just go into Sephora hop up in there it's not like you have to purchase it just grab some samples different shades and see how it works out for you but those are probably the only full coverage foundations that I've truly enjoyed and I would repurchase now for a full coverage concealer I am one where I love full coverage concealer don't get me wrong I'm not always about full coverage foundation but when it comes to concealer these babies like I want them gone bye Felicia heart shape tape is honestly life. They put a lot of magical goodness in this because it is so lightweight yet it is completely full coverage. I did do a fall olive glam and I did use this. If you're someone who suffers from lots of pigmentation around the face or if you have extreme dark circles, this baby will cover it up for you. I honestly don't even think you have to color correct. It is that pigmented, dot, 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 dot. And sometimes even when I swipe, I'm like, whoa, like my under eyes are just like, whoa. I love light formulas and concealers, but sometimes with that, you're kind of sacrificing coverage. I will say Urban Decay is really good with coverage and it is lightweight. And I'm a big time fan of the Maybelline Fit Me when I don't have like extra baggage going on during the day. So for this to be a lightweight concealer as well, which I love because I just find that those ones don't crease. It's just perfection. Now for a drugstore foundation, this is a brand new bottle. I went through a full bottle. I can't even believe it. I haven't gone through a foundation in a really long time. There's not too much product in here, but I still feel good that I was just like, hey, I went out and I had to buy another one. L'Oreal Pro Glow in Sun Beige. I am obsessed with this foundation. I love the Pro Matte. If you're a fan of the Pro Matte, and you love it just because you are oily, I still feel you should give this a try. I'm sure some days you want a more fresh, glowy, sort of dewy look, and this can definitely give it to you without looking super greasy. You are going to have to blot because I am oily in my T-zone, normal all around. I don't have any dry patches currently. If you also really have extreme oils, mix in the Pro Matte with the Pro Glow. It is just this foundation I feel is great for all skin types. And again, I always say just prep your face properly towards your skin type. So if you're oily bees like ah, then use a mattifying primer, make sure you use an oil control moisturizer. But if you are just dry like the desert and moisturize that face and have a moisturizing primer but this is so good the coverage can be really natural or you can build it up to a medium i don't really feel like it's like a super full coverage because i do have a little bit of pigmentation over here that'll still kind of peek through which i don't mind it's not crazy but i love this just because it gives you a whole healthy glow now i sort of don't want to like this product just because i'm someone where i love buying drugstore mascaras 
I don't like wasting my money on high-end mascaras. I find that it's truly a waste. A mascara is something that you can go through right away. They can dry up. And I find the drugstore is completely equivalent to a lot of high-end ones. One that just stood out to me where I'm just, I have to just give it props to is Tardis Mascara from Tarte. I don't know why I love this so well, the of course I know why I love it so much, idiot. The reason why I love this so much is because it is so black in pigmentation. It separates my lashes. I put it down from my lower lashes, if you can see them right there. That's only like a couple swipes and it just hits them really nice. I personally like high-end mascaras if they hit my top and bottom really well. Uh, I don't really mind buying a separate mascara for bottom and top if it's drugstore, but if it's a high-end mascara, that thing better do top and bottom right. It holds a great curl. They do not have a waterproof version, and I'm someone where I love waterproof mascaras. So for me to promote a high-end mascara, which I never do, and something that's not waterproof, then you know it must be good. I have the sample size. I will definitely actually purchase this full size. I said a boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say bum, bum cream. So this cream right here is the Brazilian bum, bum cream. I believe you can purchase this on Sephora. I got this sent to me, and whenever I get creams and stuff like that I'm up to trying them but I don't go through lotion like super quick I'm the one where I use the complete tube of toothpaste the complete bottle of lotion till it's all the way done I can't toss out things or try out new things even if there's just a little bit more that's my issue I don't know I just really love to fully use products and I think it's because I don't really fully use any makeup products so when it comes to other things like skincare shampoo and all of that I have to just use it all. So I finally got to try this and I've been using this for the past two and a half weeks and it had to be in my favorites because this makes your skin feel so smooth, so good. It has like a vanilla, coconutty kind of cocoa butter smell. When you put this on your body, it is just, oh. <laughs> It makes your skin so smooth, and I love that it doesn't leave that greasy feeling, but yet you still feel super moisturized. So this lotion is really great just because it just blends right into the skin. It doesn't leave any sticky residue. I actually have to put it on my ashy freaking elbows because I, I got out of the shower, I just did my makeup, and I didn't even put any lotion. Have you guys ever licked your fingers like this and then just rub it on your knees when you have ashy knees? I have, and I've done it to my elbows before. No shame in my game. Just even the smell, it's really sexy. But if you're someone that you don't like, like that vanilla cocoa butter smell, you won't like this. But just what it does to your skin, ooh. I believe this is supposed to tighten your skin. I don't really know because I don't notice things when I use that. So I just like it just because it makes my skin smooth and it smells good. And it's just... I don't know. I'm ready. I don't know what I'm ready for, but I'm ready. I'm wearing Alyssa, and I absolutely love this color. This is from ColourPop, and this is an Ultra Satin. It is my favorite formula from them. I just think that they have, like, an awesome, I don't know, texture. They feel moisturizing. They don't lay on the lips super funky. They still last, but obviously the longevity isn't going to be as long as a matte one from their line, but the matte ones just tend to dry out my lips. So let's get real. Any brand who comes out with a matte liquid lipstick, they usually just settle on the fine lines and they're not moisturizing because they're meant to be matte and meant to be, like, cement on your lips. You still get that longevity that's long enough, but you still have that liquid lipstick formula that, that you love. This formula is just really my favorite right now, and I've been rocking it. You guys know I'm not, like, the biggest fan of the liquid lipsticks of the matte, but I find that even though this is a matte one, there's still some some life to it. Doesn't look flat. You know what I mean? They don't look dead. They don't look crust. I don't know. Do they look crusty? <laughs> I don't know. I've been falling in love with the satin lip line all over again. I mean, I did love them before, but right now I'm all about them. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot this product. I kind of believe it. And this is like one of the top ones I wanted to talk about. So I don't know if you guys know, but when I'm not wearing liquid foundation, a lot of the times I'm just wearing powder foundation. Like if I just need to run out the house, I have a video on how to do my full face. Well, not like full face, but like not like eyes and stuff like that, but my face makeup in just five minutes and just be in and out the door. Uh, this Tarte BB, uh, what is this? A Tarte, I don't, what, what is the name of this? This is the Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation and I love this stuff. This one is from Tarte. I am in the shade Medium Tan Honey. And this is what it looks like and I love this powder so much. Uh, it does come with a cute little pouch. What does this even say? Make today beautiful which you should. The only downside I will say is since it's a very thin packaging, the sponge comes separate in this, so you're supposed to just hold it all in one because if you try to open this up and stick the sponge in and close it, 
it it doesn't it doesn't close which i wish it did because i'm not one where i like to just carry this pouch and the extra all of that so i just stick the sponge in close it and i want to avoid any sort of breakage or it's just scraping against other things so i do keep it enclosed in this just a little tedious thing but other than that this powder is great because if you use it with the sponge you're going to get full coverage because it is buildable if you do a light sweeping it's going to be very natural like i said it is buildable and it looks so nice on the skin it doesn't look powdery it looks airbrushed and it makes you look flawless so again another full coverage product can be this one um i love it it's probably one of my favorite full coverage powder foundation this has been like full coverage month for me why but it's probably one of my favorite full coverage powders that i have used if i don't want a full coverage i love the makeup forever pro finish in case you're wondering but for full coverage this is where it's at and i am so glad that i purchased this but if you're not into full coverage this looks really beautiful just as a set because remember it can just be natural it can go medium or you can go woo, full blown and then for my last favorite is the pixie makeup fixing mist Something about this scent and this spray. I don't know. I love it every single morning I don't know. I don't think it sets my makeup as well as my Scandinavia Urban Decay But this is great for every day. The smell is very calming. It's a rose. It's rose water and green tea But it is I don't know if they have a test do they have testers of these in stores? But I don't think they do something about that combination and the way it just sprays like so look at that. It's so fine even spraying it right now, it's just so calming and makes me feel so nice. I don't know, this this is very therapeutic for me. <laughs> Let's just say that. I feel like if I was ever stressed out, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay. I'm sure, I probably scared some of you with that, but <laughs> that's what it does for me. I don't know, I know it does set my makeup, but like I said, if I'm talking about like super, super, super long that it's making my makeup last, I don't know about that, but I think it does a decent job. Smell it, you need it. If you need some therapy in your life in a bottle, this is it. So that is it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy favorites videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, why aren't you subscribed? Why? Also, don't forget to check out my previous videos that I have posted and I will see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Mwah. Boop, boop.